Monsieur Tristan, la semaine dernière, une citoyenne de Brome, Missisquoi, Jennifer Mignot, a tenté de rencontrer le ministre des Anciens Combattants pour le sensibiliser à la cause des proches qui épaulent des militaires aux prises avec un syndrome de stress post-traumatique. Au lieu de faire face à ses responsabilités, le ministre a pris la fuite en courant. Quel manque de classe et d'empathie! Est-ce que le ministre va finalement accepter d'écouter Mme Mignot? Speaker, in some cases, veterans who have serious injury related to their service receive over $10,000 a month in financial benefits from the Government of Canada. This is in addition to World Cross rehabilitation and retraining on top of exceptional medical care. Mr. Speaker, I have and will continue to work with veterans and their family members and hope that that member stops playing politics with our, with our veterans. Hello. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I asked the minister to put his talking points down and listen to the question. The question is very clear. Jennifer Mignot is in desperate situation trying to help her husband who is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this minister should meet with her in order for her to discuss her concerns so that she can in turn help her husband. So the minister's action the other day were nothing to brag about. So I give the minister a chance to redeem himself. Mr. Speaker, through you, will the minister now announce to this House that he will meet with Jennifer at a time that's convenient for both of them so she can have a proper airing of her grievances against the DBA? Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm not about to politicize an individual's veteran's case on the floor of the House of Commons, and neither should that member be doing so. I care deeply about the well-being of Canadian veterans and their family members. I always have, and I always will. And that's why I asked the Parliamentary Review of the new Veterans Charter to look at this very issue, with Veterans Affairs spending $700 million more dollars each year than in 2005, Mr. Speaker. We are moving in the right direction. Bravo. Bravo, the Honourable Member for Winnipeg North.